was so hot last night. Boy, really on a roll. And then today, you know, that one question comes up to destroy everything. October 9th, the space shuttle Discovery was sent on the program's 100th mission. And incidentally, it was Discovery's 28th mission. That's why he kept remembering it. You could just see Nick obsessing over his choices. Well, too bad. Now let's meet 10 people who think they have what it takes to beat this game. And they are Jim Matthews, Hanover, New Hampshire. Anita Chan, Bill Peters, California. Nancy Smith, Baltimore, Maryland. Christine Markline, Gainesville, Wisconsin. Christopher Reeves, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Lex Nuremberg, Minnetonka, Minnesota. Ken Rokis, Gerard, Kansas. Kelly McCamey, Dublin, Ohio. Eileen Lochelle, River Forest, Illinois. And Brian Pierce, Terryville, Connecticut. Okay, congratulations on getting this far. Now let's uh, get ready because here's tonight's first fastest finger question. Here it is. Put these actresses in order of their birth, starting with the earliest. Cameron Diaz, Elizabeth Shue, Rachel Lee Cook, Alfre Woodard. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the earliest, Alfred Woodard, Elizabeth Shue, Cameron Diaz, and finally, Rachel Lee Cook. And the winner is Jim Matthews. Hello, Jim. Congratulations. Yeah. Good to have you here. Going for $1 million when we come back. Jim Matthews from Hanover, New Hampshire, the home of uh, Dartmouth College. Yes. As a matter of fact, you work for Dartmouth College. Yes. And what do you do? I'm a computer programmer. And what exactly do you do as, in that capacity? I write computer programs uh, that hopefully that, that make Dartmouth a better place for the students or the faculty or the staff or all of the above. You know, I'm the only person you know you've ever met in your life who doesn't know how to run a computer. I, I don't think you're the only one. I can't get it. I can't get it, Jim. I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I feel so inadequate. You know, I really do, but I'm sorry. The guy comes, he gives me a lesson. He leaves, two hours later, I look at that magic box, and I say, I want to get in there again. I can't even open the box. Yep. I don't like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim, here we go. You know the rules, you know the lifelines, so let's play, all right? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Jim Matthews. Okay, Jim, I'm expecting big things from you. Big things from you. Here it is for $100. Here we go. Which of the following is a slang expression used to tell someone to be quiet? Pipe down, wise up, eat lead, bingo. I'm going to say A. That's how you tell them to be quiet. Pipe down. Sure, you got $100. Going for $200 right now. The term meltdown was originally used to describe an accident occurring where? Paper mill, nuclear reactor, farm, North Pole. I'm going to say B, nuclear reactor. That's where it comes from, the nuclear reactor, the old meltdown. Going for $300. Hash browns are normally made with what main ingredient? Bread, egg, Potato, fat, and lots of it. They'd be no good without the fat, but I, the one I had on the way here, the main ingredient was, was potato, so C, potato. And the potato, the right answer, that's the main ingredient of your hash brown. Going for $500. Many colleges place the names of students of high scholastic standing on a roster called what? Professor's list, dean's list, president's list, versus list. I think the answer is B, dean's list. Got it for $500, <laughs> dean's list. 
$1,000. Here it is. Over what part of the body would you wear a monocle? Chest, hand, ear, eye. I would need a couple of them, and I would wear them over an eye. D. And you're right for $1,000. The monocle is worn over the eye. Doing just fine, Jim. You've got all your lifelines. We're going for $2,000. Take a look. Helvetica, Garamond, and Times Roman are all examples of which of the following? Poetry meters, furniture styles, fabric patterns, font types. When I type on my computer, I usually use Helvetica font. So my answer is D font types. Final? It's my final answer. Yes, font types for $2,000. He's up to $4,000. What rap group starred in the house party movies of the 1990s? Kid and Play, Heavy D and the Boys, Criss Cross, Run DMC. Uh, never saw one of the house party movies, but one of the stars has a very distinctive haircut. Uh, and he was a member of Kid and Play. So my answer is A, Kid and Play. Want to make it your final answer? It's my final answer. Done at $4,000, Kid and Play. You remember the haircut, though, huh? Just the haircut. Good for you. All right, we're up to $8,000, Jim. Take a look. Jane Goodall's study of primate behavior was done primarily on what continent? South America, Africa, Asia, North America. I think she worked mostly with chimpanzees, and their native habitat is Africa. So my answer is B, Africa. And that's your final answer? That's my final answer. And that's the right answer, Africa. Thank good all. Up to 16,000 right now. Who is Gerald Ford's vice president? Spiro Agnew, Walter Mondale, Nelson Rockefeller, Alexander Haig. The, the building across the street from my office at Dartmouth is Rockefeller Center, not the Rockefeller Center in New York City. Uh, but it was named in Nelson Rockefeller's honor. Nelson Rockefeller graduated from Dartmouth back in the 1930s. And he was Gerald Ford's vice president. So my answer is C, Nelson Rockefeller. And that's your final answer. That's my final answer. Good one for 16,000 with Nelson Rockefeller. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, he's going for 32,000 with all of his lifelines.